Use code DRAWTECH10 to get 10% off your drawing board purchase at thebigorchard.com. I bought this old draftsman set, or engineering geometry set, and it's from around the 1950s. I want to use this set, but it smells very old. It emanates an old musty smell, as though I've unbounded an ancient magic that lay dormant for millenniums. Let's have a look inside. This is from an old company called Phil Merco, and I couldn't find any information online about this company, so I don't know where they came from, if they're an English company or American. Not everything is on the internet, maybe in an old book somewhere, or maybe someone who used these sets is still alive to tell us about them. So here's the architectural or engineering draftsman set. I've used them, and I feel that they are in a good condition. They work well, especially when compared to modern day compasses. This actually feels more accurate. It's as if compasses in the modern day are seen as nostalgic tools that aren't needed anymore. Although some companies do make precise and specialized tools, which are probably better than the old days. We use CAD today, so at least in the commercial drafting office, these tools are obsolete. This is a basic student compass that you get in the modern day, and I hate these. I can't seem to get my lines to touch precisely with these, and it gets very frustrating when I've gone into a drawing and find that my lines aren't connecting. I think it's because we live in the days and age of CAD, these drafting tools have become a novelty, and so perhaps the general production of these is not taken so seriously. Whereas in the days before CAD, these tools would have been precisely manufactured to do an important job, and they would be relied on to perform accurately. And look how this comes in a neat set, as if the tools are personalized to the draftsman who used them. This personal belonging of tools is kind of lost today with our CAD subscriptions. You might buy a fancy mouse and consider that to be your tool. I'm going to polish these old tools with this. Because these tools are from the 1950s, they smell quite old, and they leave a strange smell on my hands when I try to use them. Apparently you're not supposed to touch this, it causes skin irritation, drowsiness, and dizziness. Okay, this first drafting tool that I've picked out is called a pencil bow compass. Right away, as I hold it, it feels like a solid and reliable instrument. When I open it, it feels very sturdy. That could be because of its age, but I say it exudes confidence and experience. I have a feeling that I'm going to be pleasantly surprised when I draw with this. Well, it's time to polish it. Apparently, you just rip off a little piece. Does it feel like it's cleaning it? Well, the smell of the brasso is quite strong, so... I'd like to think that it is a potent polishing product. Maybe the smell is purposely pungent, so that when you get dizzy while cleaning, it makes you think that it's working. I at least hope it gets rid of the old smell. I don't know how many years of generational sweat has seeped into its joints. I probably wouldn't be excited to find out. I just want to be able to use them and not deal with smelly hands. Now, I need to be careful with cleaning this part. I think this is as clean as it can be. I'll leave this for a while and wipe it later. Ow. I just stabbed myself with... An ancient injection. I hope I don't get sick. This is called a divider. The next tool I've chosen is a tool with two points and no pencil end. This is used to record measurements in steps. Here's an example. I'm using it to measure how many predetermined lengths will fit into the circumference of a circle. You're supposed to use it to divide lines by trial and error or use it to transfer measurements. 
Whether I use these tools or not, there's no denying that these tools are a pleasure to look at and a pleasure to hold. I might not be able to appreciate them as much as the draftsman who used them, but I can still appreciate them as a fellow draftsman who looks back to see where we came from. The next tool is another pencil bow compass. However, this one's a bit different. It has this adjustable pointer feature, which I have no idea what this compass is for. But if I had to guess, maybe it's for using on uneven surfaces, or maybe it's to draw a part of a circle. I, I can't be sure. Maybe one of you might know, a senior draftsman who might have used a tool like this. And last but not least, an ink bow. An ink bow. A technical pen. A drop or a few drops of ink are injected into the bow. And then you use the screw on the side of the pen to adjust the line thickness of the pen. This is like a set of pens in one tool. Have a look at the consistent lines it creates. The only problem with this is that it gets messy quite easily. This tool is from 70 years ago. I have a cheap modern version of this, which looks the same. I got it from China, and that one is very messy. I don't know if it's really practical to use this since I have technical pens, but I will try using it for a technical drawing. It might surprise me. Okay, in my attempt to clean this set, I've made a mess, and I didn't notice at the time, but my supposedly protective gloves got shredded. I've got brasso all over my fingers. I feel a slight tingle on my hand. Maybe it's just my imagination after reading the warning on the can. It's probably not that bad. Hopefully my fingers don't fall off. I might as well touch it now. I'm not going to bore you by polishing all of them, but look how shiny it is. Can hardly tell a difference, but I'd like to think that it's a little bit shinier. Well, I hope the smell is gone at least. I'd actually like to use this set in future drafting videos. I might have to clean it more rigorously off camera. Whoever this set of tools first belonged to, I wonder if they're still alive. He would probably be happy knowing that his tools still live on. Despite my effort, there's still a trace of musty metal smell. It's not as bad as it was before, but after using them, I'm still going to have to wash my hands with a scrub. I'll be making some draftsmanship videos, and I'll be using these tools to make them. Be on the lookout, because I have another draftsman tool set, and that one dates back to over 150 years ago. According to my research, that set was used in the 1850s, the Victorian era, and that set is really beautiful to see. Some have even said that it's around 200 years old, and it's still functional. 